Skill set evaluation is the second step in our ASAP career strategy framework. First step is actionable discovery, where you decide what the fuck it is that you want to do. What do you qualify for? What are you capable of? And what aligns with what your goals are? But step two, skill set evaluation. As a part of this, we identify any industry standard specific certifications that you can get. We also talk about cost effective upskilling because I understand that school is expensive as fuck. Certifications can be expensive as fuck. And sometimes you get them and you don't even need them. One of the ways that I teach people to get um, experience in software such as Zendesk or Salesforce is to use demo accounts, to use Trailhead, to leverage YouTube or to even leverage TikTok. Also CRM is she means CSM just as a BT dubs for anybody that gets confused by it. But Salesforce, you can use a Trailhead account, um, which is going to be a demo account for you to leverage. Something like Zendesk, I would suggest um, looking at YouTube tutorials and potentially getting certifications, free certifications. So look on LinkedIn, look on Indeed, um, look through Coursera, Udemy, and see what things they have. Zendesk is just a ticketing system. That's all it is. And most people use it for chat or like email management and not, not email marketing, but like email management ticketing, uh, email tickets that come in from like people reaching out to support and assigning those tickets to people to get handled. Salesforce is a CRM. It's a customer relationship management tool. I don't know why that came out of my mouth. So weird. another example of something like Salesforce is something like HubSpot and HubSpot even actually has demo accounts or free accounts that you can use to find your way around. But there are options to get some of the experience and familiarity with these tools that do not require that you work a job that uses them or that you spend a shit ton of money.